All right, guys. This is uh, chapter 14-2, converting customer units of capacity. Uh, in the last lesson, we were converting customer units of length. All right. So before we go ahead and get into this lesson, let's go ahead and look at that chart one more time. Remember, I attached this with the problems for this particular practice sheet. So where are the capacity uh, units? They are right in the middle, right here in your chart. Right in the customary section, we have one gallon equals four quarts, one quart equals two pints, one pint equals two cups, and one cup equals to eight fluid ounces. And under the metric system for volume and capacity, we have one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. All right? So let's go ahead and get, get going right there. Uh, let's go back to our problems and let's get to it. The instruction said in your uh, under your Google Classroom for either for either the uh, stream tab or uh, directly under the Classwork tab, it said for you to do problems 20. I'm sorry, 15 through 20, right? It didn't say to do all of them. You want to do more? Then go for it. More power to you. But in this case, we just want to quickly go over 15 through 20. We're gonna practice the same rules that we practiced before when I have our five steps of conversion. So let's get let's dig right into it. We got number 15, and our problem says to convert one quart into a certain amount of gallons. Right. Step number two, we need a uh, conversion rule. Where are we gonna get that? Well, it should come out straight from your chart, which is right there. If you see the rule, it says that one gallon equals four quarts under volume and capacity. That'll take us right. Let's go ahead and move right back to our problem. Right there. And uh, let's go ahead and rewrite that real quick. We said that our number 15, step number one is to convert a, a certain amount of quarts into a certain amount of gallons. It's, it's a piece of cake. Now notice that in this case, hopefully right now you already saw, you know, the interesting part about this problem is that which unit is greater? It's it's the gallons, right? So can you actually make a gallon with just one quart? No, because if you remember our rule said that one gallon was going to be equal to four quarts. So how in the world are you going to be able to convert one quart into a gallon if you need more quarts to make into a gallon? Well, if you remember correctly, in our class, we said that whenever you can't make a whole, you're probably going to be working with fractions or decimals, which is what we're doing here, right? Let's go ahead and go into step number three. In step number three, we're converting the quart into gallon, so it's the larger unit. I'm sorry, it's the smaller unit to the larger unit. So what operation do we do with that with division? Step number four, what uh, number of sentences do you need in order to answer or come up with the best answer? Well, let's look at the number in number one. We're going to divide number the one divided by the number in the row in step number two, which is four. Okay, and what answer do we get? Well, let's see. Let's visualize that a little bit closely. We said that all of this is equal to one gallon, right? And we're saying that we're trying to convert one quart into four gallons. Well, the rule says that there are four quarts, right? Well, let's break this up into four equal parts. That would be one half of a gallon. And then, of course, if you break those halves into halves, that would be one out of four pieces, which is, would be one-fourth of a gallon, then one half, and then this would be three-fourths of a gallon, right? So we're saying here that we only have one quart. Well, where is that? Well, it is right here. We only have one quart out of a total of four quarts. So how would we express that as a fraction? Well, since we have one piece out of a total of four pieces or one quart out of a total of four quarts that make up one gallon, that is actually equal to one fourth, right? So. What we're saying here is that we're gonna end up getting a fraction or a decimal because one quart is only one part out of four quarts that is needed to make one whole gallon, all right? So let's go ahead and show that real quick by doing some division. We're gonna literally, when we're going to divide number the one by the four. We said in the previous problem that if you wanted to divide a whole number, 
by another one in which and in, in which you have a dividend that is smaller than a divisor we're gonna have to add a decimal and a zero right and let's go ahead and make sure that we move that decimal to the top of our, to our quotient section so that, that way we won't forget it and let's go ahead and work it out how many groups of four can we make with one well, zero because zero times four is zero right one times zero is i'm sorry one minus zero is one you bring down that zero you add it and then of course you how many groups of four can you make with ten and that would be two two times four equals eight subtract that from ten and you get two well we can't leave that two by itself because we're working with decimals so we're gonna have to add another zero and bring it down so how many groups of four can you make with twenty now well four times five gives you twenty and then of course you find a difference and it gives you a difference of zero so therefore we're done there so the question here is well so you said that the answer was going to be equal to one fourth yep because in decimal one out of four is the same thing as 2500 or 25 it's like saying one quarter out of four quarters equals 25 cents and we talked about that also in class remember so in this case this would be our step number five that one fourth the answer would be one fourth of a gallon or 25 hundredths of a gallon all right again if you don't understand something make sure that you go back and review this rewind and then double check on it all right let's go ahead and go to step number two well, i'm sorry problem number 16 so step number one says to convert five gallons into a certain amount of cups well we need the uh, conversion rule so we're gonna have to go back and look at our chart and uh is there a rule that converts directly gallons into cups nope if you look at it carefully you'll see that we're gonna have to convert gallons to quarts then quarts to pints and then pints to cups so you guessed that we're gonna have to use that z rule right even though this one actually doesn't look like a z but it zigzags like one or moves like one so we're gonna need all of those rules one gallon equals four quarts one quart equals two pints and two pints equals two cups we're gonna need all of those rules to solve this problem so let's go ahead and go back and we're gonna have to have enough space I'm gonna have to write a little bit smaller than normal so here's step number one what are we converting well, we're converting five gallons into a certain amount of cups we need three rules we need one gallon equals four quarts we also need one quart equals two pints and then we also need one pint equals two two cups we need all of the three rules step number three we're converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit right because gallons is greater than or bigger than us uh, cups or has a greater capacity so we're going to convert from large to small and we are going to multiply right small or large is division large to small is multiplication step number four we're going to use the numbers in step one and two to multiply we're going to use five times the first rule in step number two which is four that should give us a first part of the answer i'm going to move over to the other side and we're going to get that number and we're going to multiply times the second rule times two that should give us another answer another product and of course we're going to multiply that product times a two which is two cups right which is a third rule and that should literally give us our answer in other words our number of cups so step number five let's go ahead and quickly do the math in our heads what's five times four twenty and twenty times two it's uh, 40 and then 40 times 2 that's 80 so therefore our answer is that when you try and convert 5 gallons into a certain amount of cups that will be equal to 80 cups right so don't worry if you're in this case we needed three rules as long as you follow the conversion rules and you use your Z strategies you should be fine right okay go ahead and let's go ahead and move to number 17 Let's move a little bit faster here we go now notice that we're gonna have to convert a gallons and there's a couple of cups left over into a certain amount of ounces okay so in that case we're gonna look at our rule real quick our conversion rule 
and in our conversion rules we have gallons to quart, quarts to pints and pints to cups and then we also have cups to ounces so in this case we're going to have to convert gallons directly to ounces we're going to need four rules and then plus we uh we're going to have to look carefully at those ounces that are left over let's look at that problem real quick one more time you see you're going to have to convert those cups into a certain amount of ounces so, so that one cup right so that should be easy because if you go back again one more time to our problem we'll see that one cup is equal to eight ounces right the tricky part is converting those gallons directly into ounces if you can say that they're tricky because all you have to do is just use the, the z strategy again you're gonna have to go from gallons to quarts quarts to pints pints to cups and then cups eventually to ounces all right so let's go ahead and get going with that uh, let's go back and step number one here we go step number one is work now let's go ahead and can make you know hopefully this makes sense to you one cup is going to let's just say that that automatically is equal to eight ounces already right because the rule says that one cup is equal to eight ounces so i'm just going to cut that and substitute it for eight ounces because the rule directly says it right so now at the end we're just going to have to make sure that whatever whenever we convert those gallons into ounces that we add those extra eight ounces that were made up the cup all right so uh step number one we're converting one gallon into a certain amount of ounces step number two we're going to use a whole bunch of rules one gallon equals four quarts one quart equals two uh what do we say two cups and then we also said that one cup equals two pints and one pint equals two eight ounces we need all those four rules all right so step number three we're converting from gallons to ounces in other words we're converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit and one of the questions is okay well how do you know which unit is larger okay well if it has a one in there it's probably because that unit that unit of capacity is larger than the other right because you need a whole bunch of ounces in order to make just one gallon which means one gallon has to be greater all right so in this case we're going to uh, convert from the larger unit to the smaller unit gallons to ounces so it's larger to smaller so what do we do what operation do we use when we multiply when we divide I'm sorry when we convert larger to smaller we multiply step number four let's go ahead and use our numbers in number one we're going to multiply one times the number in the first conversion rule in step two which is four that should give us a certain answer and then let me move, go ahead and move over to the side over there that answer we're going to multiply times the second number in our rule second conversion rule which is two that should give us a certain product and then that product we're going to multiply times the third number in the third rule which is two again and then that product we're going to multiply times the number in the last conversion rule which is eight and that should give us our answer for step number five which is a piece of cake oh wait a minute but whatever you get for step number five you also have to make sure i'm sorry for step number four you also have to make sure that you add the eight ounces don't forget to add those eight ounces let me go ahead and um let me see i can't erase that let me see if i can move it just a couple times because that looks all messy all right there we go a little better oh man i erased everything oh well hopefully you do remember right what you were supposed to do but uh again the rules just said that you were supposed to multiply um i'm gonna rewrite step number four here we said that you were going to multiply one times four four gallons and then you're going to multiply four times two which is the two cups and then you were going to multiply two times, oh, I'm sorry, that answer, which is what we would have gotten over here, times two, which is two pints. 
and then over here at the very last step we're going to get that last answer we're going to multiply by 8 which is the 8 ounces and that should have given us part of the answer for step number 5 the last thing you want to do is that last answer you want to make sure that you add 8 extra ounces to that because we said that those 8 ounces are coming from there 1 cup equals 8 ounces say so let's solve it real quick what's 1 times 4 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is put the answer there 8 times 2 is 16 and then 16 times 8 equals let's go ahead and solve that on the side that's 48 carry the 4 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 is 12 and then we have to add still the 8 extra ounces that we have so what's 8 plus 8 16 carry the 1 2 plus 1 is 3 and bring down the 1 so therefore our answer is that one gallon is going to be and one cup is going to be equal to 136 fluid ounces right let's double check the math real quick again we're, uh, we're going to multiply one times the number of the first rule four which is one gallon equals four quarts and then that product we're going to multiply times the number in the second rule we said that the second rule was one quart equals two cups so therefore that's what we're multiplying four times two then we're going to multiply our product which is eight and we're going to multiply times the number in the second rule which is says that one cup equals two pints right eight times two is sixteen and then eventually we're going to multiply sixteen by eight because the fourth rule says that we're converting we're saying that one pint is equal to eight ounces right so that's why we multiply sixteen times eight which we demonstrated over here sixteen times eight equals 128 plus the eight ounce uh, the eight ounces that were made up that one cup that we had on the side this was a total of 136 feet i'm sorry 136 fluid ounces which is the answer to step number five all right all right number 18 step number one we're converting seven cups into a certain amount of ounces well, that's step number one for number 18 step number two we're converting uh, cups to ounces in this case so what are we going to do well it looks like we're gonna have to need a couple of rules for this one right if we look at it carefully there is no rule that says that we directly convert cups to ounces right if you look at your chart one more time you see oh wait a minute my bad i'm thinking wrong yes there is a rule one cup com uh, directly converts it into eight ounces so that's great all right let's go so let's go ahead and look at that and let's go ahead and write the problem down step one seven cups is equal to a certain amount of ounces step number two we're going to convert uh, we're going to use that conversion rule which says that one cup equals eight ounces Step number three. We're converting cups to ounces the larger unit to the smaller unit, right? And when we do that we multiply, right? Step number four. We're going to use the number in step number one Which is seven times the number in the second step, which is eight in a conversion rule and that should give us the number of ounces so this problem was actually kind of easy seven times eight should give you a total of 56 ounces right okay that was easy let's go ahead and go to number 19 uh, number 19 we have pints to gallons right so let's go ahead and look at our chart real quick and uh, let's go ahead and highlight we'll we're converting pints to gallons so if you look at it there is no direct rule that converts gallons to pints or pints to gallons we're gonna have to use the z strategy where we convert gallons to quarts quarts to pints and then pints to cups right i'm sorry we don't need the pints oh what am i thinking oh, i'm getting a little bit tired i'm sorry guys let's go back one more time it's pints to gallons right pints to gallons so we need to only go from gallons to quarts and then quarts to pints my apologies okay let's go on i gotta wake up sorry guys okay so let's go ahead and go back to our problem 
and it's uh, step number one is we're converting 72 pints to a certain amount of gallons step number two we need the Z strategy we need to know that one gallon is the same thing as four quarts and we also are going to need to know that one quart equals two two pints right step number three we're converting from pints to gallons so it's a little different now pints are smaller and the gallons are larger so we're converting from small to large so what operation do we use we use division step number four we use our rules now we're going to get the number in step number one 72 and we're going to divide it by the first number in the first rule which is four that should give us our first part of the answer and that answer i'm going to move it over to the side here that answer i'm going to have to also continue to divide it by two all right so that should give us our answer now some of you are pretty smart and you say well, well there's another way of doing it sir well yeah there is what you can do is you can actually combine those two rule those two number sentences step number four and say that 72 is going to be divided by the product of four times two it's the same thing right so i'm just gonna follow you you choose whichever one you want to use right i'm just gonna follow my steps so uh what's uh, the question is what is 72 divided by four now well, if some of us can't work it out work it out in our heads let's go ahead and divide 72 by four and how many groups of four can I make with seven? I can make one. So put it over the seven. Four times one is four. Find the difference and you get three. Bring down the two. How many groups of four can you make with 32? Eight over the two I brought down. Eight times four is 32. Find the difference and you get zero. So am I done? No. Well, remember that you were dividing only 72 by four in the first number sentence, but you still have to divide that 18 by two. Okay. So... I, I'm running out of space here, so I'm just going to do it right there. What's 18 divided by 2? And you should know the answer. That is 9. So, therefore, we are saying here, we go back to our problem, and we are saying that in number 9, when we convert 72 pints into gallons, we're saying that 72 pints is going to be equal to 9 gallons. And if you look at it closely here, and I'm going to go back to step 4 right here with this operation that we came up here with 72 divided by 4 times 2 well what's 4 times 2 it's 8 right and what's 72 divided by 8 it still gives us 9 you see that so either way both uh, number sentences will eventually give us a quotient of 9 which 9 represents 9 gallons all right okay let's go on to our last problem number 20 now this time we're gonna have to convert pints to cups but like we did on the previous uh, lesson of 14-1, do you have to convert those three cups into cups? The answer is no, right? So eventually, at the end, once we convert these pints into cups, we're going to have to add those three cups to whatever answer is at the end. Okay? So just keep in mind that. So we, let's look at step number one. Uh, before we do that, we're converting pints into cups. Do you remember what that rule was? Let's go back to our chart. Pints to cups. And there it is right there, right in the middle. One pint equals two cups. So the, we only need one rule, right? All right, let's go back. Easy stuff. Here we go. Step number one, we're converting four pints into a certain amount of cups. Sir, how come you're not putting the three cups in there? Because the three cups are already converted into cups they're the same thing so at the end and step number four and five we're going to add those three extra cups just don't forget them right so step number two what did the rule say uh we said that we were going to uh we said that one cup is the same thing as um i'm sorry I said, i'm saying it backwards one pint equals two cups right one pint equals two cups so let's go back again that's why it's important for you to go back to your charts often right okay so let's go again uh, we're converting 
In step number one, we're converting four pints into a certain amount of cups. Step number two, we're converting. The conversion rule is one pint equals two cups. Step number three, we're converting pints to cups, which means that it's larger to the smaller unit, which means we're going to have to multiply. Step number four, multiply the number in step one times the number in step two, four times two, which is gives us our answer, or at least part of it. That product, if you remember correctly, you still have to add it to, remember, we still have to add it to that three right through those three cups. And that should give us our answer in step number five. So let's solve it. What's four times two? That's eight. And what's eight plus three? That's 11. So our answer is 11 cups, meaning that four cups and three cups, four pints and three cups is going to be equal to a total of 11 cups. All right, guys. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much in this one, right? That's why it's important for you to use your math chart. Don't do it like Mr. Galtada, okay? So be smart. Uh, all right, guys. Have a good one. Hopefully that helped. Bye.